course. Um, my name is Peter Wade. I'm the Director of Recruitment for Hyatt in Asia Pacific. So the particular countries that I am responsible for are Japan, China, down to Thailand, down to Australia, to Guam and Saipan and everything in between. So it's a, it's a very big area. Um, effectively, I cover a third of the world. I think there is, a, it, it's now a very diverse marketplace where we have a number of different um, customer needs and, and, and the, the industry is actually starting to very much focus on the needs of the customer and design and develop products to suit those needs. Um, you have obviously a full server, service model, you have a select service model, and you have a budget model which allow people to choose what services they want to pay for and also what standard of accommodation they want to participate in or, or be part of. And I think the more businesses understand the needs of the customer and develop products that actually suit those customers, the more the customer will respond. Rather than being pigeonholed into you know, a five-star luxury accommodation where perhaps they don't want that level of service of a bellboy taking their luggage up to the room or, or room service or a choice of five restaurants. People sometimes might want something simpler. The industry needs to be part of the general community of hotel schools like this. The hotel school is developing the leaders of our industry and therefore I think it's important for the hotel schools to have an association with the industry and a direct association with the industry so that the hotel schools can work with, it, with us in order to develop the leaders that we want for the future so that it's very specific in terms of the feedback from industry to the school as to the, the path, the future path. It's a very competitive world now. Um, you know, there was once a time where hospitality and tourism schools were training for hospitality and tourism. Now we have other industries coming to employ graduates of hotel schools. Um, industries like finance come into the hotel schools because they're looking for those service skills that uh, we develop in people and, uh, and, and that they need in their industry. I think that's, that's the biggest challenge. I think another challenge that we have is um, really understanding the learning needs of the graduates of today when they come into the workplace. Um, the industry itself um, needs to adapt and is adapting to the millennials and, uh, and that's, that's something that is causing some challenges and is very interesting for everybody. I think I've been very fortunate um, in that the role that I have now as Director of Recruitment is, is one that I have developed um, in that with my Vice President of Human Resources we have created this role we have determined the, the job responsibilities and the areas of responsibility that I have within the role. This is a new role. It was, it was it, well, when I, when I say new, it was, it's actually six years old, but I'm the first person to actually have this role in Asia Pacific. And therefore, we've had to really um, look at the roles and responsibilities to to the marketplace that I look after in Asia Pacific. That has adapted over time. The job as it stands now is nothing like the job that was first designed six years ago. I think it's very challenging, it's very interesting and it's a lot of fun. Um, and I think that's important too because if 
we're not having fun, then we're not responding appropriately, I don't believe, to the demands of, of our employees or associates and, and our guests. And we need to be able to do that. Um, if we don't respond to the needs of those people, um, then we won't maintain our position, we won't, won't maintain our business levels and, and that's obviously very important. One of, one of the things that I think is very interesting at the moment is, is um, in this very competitive marketplace where um, there are a lot of applicants for each job, I think students need to learn how to market themselves. Graduates need to market themselves uh, in order to enable them to stand out. Even, um, even when there's two or three candidates up against each other for the same job, the person who markets themselves and can demonstrate that they have the skills and abilities to fill the job best is the one who will get the job. All things being equal, the one who markets themselves better is the one who gets the job. Yeah.